So when using the ultrasound, you want to make sure you're nice and stable. You've got um, all points of contact. That would be a hand, an elbow, even your bottom and a chair so that you're nice and stable and can just do nice, gentle, smooth movements. So this is sliding backward and forward. This is your rocking motion. That's tilting and fanning. And then that's your rotational movement, um, which if I'd been slow enough, I could have shown you getting the vessel into uh, the in-plane view. And you want to see nice, defined views of both vessel walls. Now there's a little echo in this training uh, gel. Um, and so the more that the training gel gets cannulated, the more that you'll end up with those abnormalities. Okay, so being able to identify in a training arm or a training gel, what is your needle tip and what is not. So if I was to show you the in-plane technique, making sure you've got two well-defined vessel walls starting a few millimeters back from your probe, watching your screen, and you want to see a nice defined needle tip. So you can see I'm approaching from the left side of the screen and I've just entered the vessel there. I can slide a little bit further, so a nice defined view of the needle tip and the needle shaft, all right? The disadvantages of this view are you can't see surrounding structures, so you don't know if you've accidentally slid into an artery, if you've slid off your um, target vessel. Um, but it does give you a really nice view, if I go back to where I was, there we go, of the whole needle. Um, if you don't have your needle directly under your ultrasound beam, then you lose it, right? So it's about lining up your ultrasound beam with your needle tip and keeping your vessel walls nice and defined. Whereas the out of plane technique, making sure that your probe left is your patient left, uh, again, two to three millimeters back from your probe. This time, the downside is your ultrasound is unable to distinguish what the middle of your shaft is and what your needle tip is. So as you can see, I've lost my needle tip. So at this point, you'd bring it back to the skin and start nice and gently until you get a flash of needle tip. So we're not just looking for tissue movement, although you can see tissue movement on the screen. Okay, you could be well beyond your ultrasound beam. So I'm wiggling side to side you can actually see that I was well beyond my um, ultrasound beam. And although we still saw tissue movement, we couldn't say for certain that we were in the center of the vessel. But if you keep following along, now you can. Okay, so those are one of the, the ways to do the in-plane and the out-of-plane. <laughs> Obviously remember wearing gloves, practice sharp safety, if you are going to recap a cannula in training, do so with the one hand technique because it is possible to send the needle out the side of the plastic and into your finger.